Hi folks, this is Scott Burt. I'm president of the Bare Knuckle Boxing Hall of Fame up in Belfast, New York, and the legendary 143-year-old police gazette Diamond Bell. And I'm walking along, and I get this phone call that uh, my good friend and Hall of Fame inductee, Bill Clancy, is getting an award, the President's Award, for Lifetime Achievement. And I said, what? I said, I know what that's not for. That's not for the kinds of suits that he wears, that's for sure. Bill, you can borrow mine at any time that you want, my friend. <laughs> Bill, most people say, well, deserved. I'm saying, well earned, my friend, well earned. Hey, Bill, Sugar Ray Leonard's here, and, uh, and forget about my hair, you know. I, I wish I could be there for you, buddy. You deserve that much, much more. And God bless to your lovely family, your loved ones. Um, I really miss you, buddy. Um, we have some great times together. And God bless you once again. All the best. You're what they call a champ. Love you, man. Take care. We're ready to do it, so let's step to it. Certainly like to give a very special congratulations to my friend, my comrade, my confidant, and a consummate professional boxing referees in all the history of boxing and certainly deserving of the Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award as I have. So welcome to the club. Ladies and gentlemen, please, at this time, stand on your feet, clap your hands where you stand, and give a joyous round of applause to the real deal, Bill Clancy. Congratulations, my friend. See you at ringside soon. God bless. Bill Clancy, professional boxing referee. I've been a referee for 42 years. September 3rd, 1956, Kingston, New York. And IBM international procurement manager, William Joseph, and real estate agent turned stay-at-home parent, Jane Francis, welcomed into the world their firstborn, William David Clancy. Bill, along with siblings Jack, Michael, Tom, Mary, Jane, Kate, Anna, and Bridget, all grew up in the Catholic Church, where they learned the principles of giving back from an early age. Bill started as an altar boy, serving his local church, where he would ride his bike for four and a half miles to serve at 7 a.m. Mass. As a teenager, every fall for four years, he would ride with his priest over to Rhinebeck, New York, to the Linwood Spiritual Center, a sponsored ministry of the Society of St. Ursula, where he raked the leaves by hand. It's a culmination of uh, a lot of sacrifice on my part, starting when I was 12 years old, volunteering to rake leaves <laughs> for the Catholic Church at one of their spiritual retreats on the banks of the Hudson River in, in New York, where I was born and raised. Uh, I did that for four years every fall, and I mean, three to five acres of leaves is a lot of leaves, and uh, we did that every year as volunteers. Following IBM down to Raleigh, North Carolina, Bill attended his senior year, graduating from Needham Broughton High School. Like his father, Bill became a full-time IBMer, and in his spare time attended North Carolina State University, where he realized his love for volunteering in the ring refereeing fights. Bill studied intently, taking every boxing referee class imaginable, passing his referee certifications with flying colors. Well, at least black and white stripes. For the next 10 years, from 1982 to 1992, Bill relentlessly volunteered his time refereeing fights without pay not even gas money as he drove all over the entire state of North Carolina on his own dime. For 42 years, Bill has seen the good, the bad, and the ugly in and out of the ring. The bad, Clancy has been punched in the noggin time after time after time. The ugly, 
Bill has had to make controversial decisions, disqualifying fighters for throwing punches, knocking out opponents after the, the bell. punch knocked him unconscious. He was unconscious. We're not going to the scorecards. That's a blatant foul. There was an earlier round where he hit him a little late. The most controversial bout was in Germany. I believe it was in 2007, if memory serves me correct. Um, I was refereeing the WBC super middleweight title of the world. Marcus Beyer from Germany was the reigning champion, fighting a undefeated Australian named Danny Green, who was 17-0 at the time. And Danny Green was winning the fight hands down for five rounds, and for some unforeseen reason, panicked and intentionally headbutted Marcus Beyer. Jeff, you need that. Intentional headbutt, listen to me. An intentional headbutt that causes a cut, okay? That was already cut. Listen, that was already cut. understand. That was already cut. All right, it was an intentional headbutt that also. Was already cut. Okay. That was already cut. And cut him to the point where I had to disqualify him because of the foul, the intentional foul. And it caused a riot and uh, caused uh, threats to my life and my family. But that, that was probably the most controversial fight that I ever refereed my career. I want to make sure the rule is clear. That's fine. It's, that's clear. It's clear. I have no problem with that. The doctor stated he was not able to continue. That's fine. That's fine. I have no problem with it. The good. Bill has had the distinguished honor of sharing the ring with 103 world champions. I've refereed Larry Holmes, Mike Tyson, Manny Pacquiao. Tim Witherspoon, Greg Page, Antonio Margarito, uh, total, there's a bunch of them. There's 103 world champions in my 42 year career. Probably the most enjoyable, although it only lasted 49 seconds, was the 50th and final victory of Mike Tyson. He went on to fight two more times and lost, but I was fortunate enough to referee him in the main event against Clifford the Black Rhino, Etienne, and Mike stopped him in 49 seconds of the first round. All while serving in the ring, Bill managed to pull double duty, volunteering for 20 years, providing celebrity security for the Jimmy V Celebrity Golf Classic, fundraising over $353 million for cancer. And then I spent 20 years volunteering, doing security work for the Jimmy V Celebrity Golf Classic in Cary, North Carolina. So this is a culmination of all that blood, sweat, and tears, running alongside a golf cart over 18 holes in 95 degree weather for 20 years. This is the culmination of all that, so I'm very, very excited about it. Year after year, Bill oversaw security for ESPN anchor Chris Berman. For 19 years, I provided a celebrity security for my dear friend Charles Barkley from the NBA. And I also took care of uh, Goldberg, the wrestler, Bill Goldberg, uh, Rush Limbaugh, Hootie and the Blowfish, Kevin Costner, uh, Chris Berman from ESPN, Stuart Scott from ESPN, uh, Dick Vitale from ESPN, uh, Coach Mike Krzyzewski, uh, Roy Williams, the UNC basketball coach, David Robinson, the Admiral from the uh, San Antonio Spurs NBA team, Vinny Del Negro, former NC State basketball player and NBA player. There's many, uh, many, many, many. Too, too numerous to mention. Marrying and drawing strength from the love of his life, Teresa, and becoming a loving father to Matthew, Michael, Brandon, and Christopher. I'm the father of four boys. I have two boys from my first marriage, Chris and Brandon. Chris is 45, Brandon is 42. I have two stepsons. Michael and Matthew, grown up to be great, great fathers and husbands and uh, businessmen and, uh, and serving our country in the military. Teresa's been with me. We've been married 26 years last week and we've been together for 30. She's been at just about every fight that I've refereed in, in the past 25 years. And, um, She's a trooper, man. She takes care of my kids, lets me travel to do what I love to do. I had a stroke back in September. If it had not been for her, I wouldn't be here doing this interview. I'd be dead. She saved my life. She's my rock. The pinnacle, uh, 
I've been refereeing for 42 years, and I guess you would say the pinnacle is I'm going into my fifth Boxing Hall of Fame in April, April the 28th in California. I'll be inducted into the National Boxing Hall of Fame. And then March 22nd, I'm receiving the President's Lifetime Achievement Award from Mrs. Muhammad Ali, his second wife. So I'm very excited about that. I've accomplished most of my bucket list items. One that I want to attain, I don't know that I ever, ever will get the opportunity, but I always wanted to referee in Las Vegas, but unfortunately it's a very tough thing to do. Uh, if I ever get that opportunity, I'm gonna take full advantage of it. Um, but that's really the only thing that I have left on my bucket list that I haven't been able to accomplish. Uh, recently, in the past year and a half, got to referee the heavyweight championship of the world. That was on my bucket list as well, so that's gone. The only thing left now is the referee in Las Vegas. Two most influential boxing referees in my career are the great Arthur McCanthy Sr. from New York and Mills Lane from Nevada. They both mentored me throughout my career and helped me immensely. My favorite fighter of all time is marvelous Marvin Hagler, and then right behind him is Larry Holmes. Bill Clancy is still actively refereeing professional bouts volunteering at fundraising events, and loving on his fellow brethren. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for 2024 Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, Mr. Bill Clancy.